Hey everybody, this is Roger Gray, and welcome to this week's New Car Review. All right, it is official. This is getting a little eerie. Now, I grew up in the 60s, in the big, fat middle of the muscle car, pony car, import sports car era. A lot of my friends opted for muscle, but I was a slave to the unreliable, barely functional products hewn out of rust-prone chunks of iron in the blast furnaces of Great Britain. But... What all these cars of that era had in common is that they were crude, loud, and entirely traditional. The byword of the times was internal combustion, except no substitutes. But gas-electric hybrid vehicles are here, and their numbers are growing. Our Prius this week was the granddaddy, but now everyone, including the big three, are in on the act. In fact, the Chevy Volt is the technology leader of the pack. But for affordable economy... You just can't beat the Toyota Prius. But now the Prius family has grown to the point that we're having a little trouble keeping up. The Japanese got in on the ground floor and have reaped the rewards. The groundbreaking Toyota Prius, an incredibly efficient, unbelievably well-engineered, and incomparably bland-looking vehicle, was introduced in 1999 in Japan and 2000 here in the land of the free. They sold about 12,000 that first year, 15,000 the next, 20,000 in 2002. The concept was proven, but the vehicle looked like a Corolla without personality. Well, that all ended in May of 2004, and the 2005 model had even more of the good stuff and looked positively exotic. A sloping fastback roofline combined with the slab-sided flanks and fairly small wheels made it look like a Citroen project. But the French look works here, and it cloaked a car that is better and more efficient in every way than not only its predecessor, but most of the competition. And now, the Prius V? It's even swoopier, has a hatchback, but still has the virtue of being slow. And by swoopy, we mean, frankly, it's a bit weird. But, hey, at least it's no longer anonymous. But within the Prius V family are the Prius 2, 3, 4, and 5. This, in addition to the Prius Prime, a plug-in version of the regular Prius, with no suffix. Oh, and I left out the compact Prius C. See what I mean? It's getting a little confusing. But today, we deal with the Prius Prime and the Prius 4. Basic power plant is a 1.8 liter dual overhead cam, four cylinder engine, generating 98 horsepower. But it is aided and abetted by a 50 kilowatt electric motor with 295 foot pounds of torque that both adds and substitutes for the gas engine, depending on the demands of the driver. 50 kilowatts, by the way, is roughly the equivalent of 36 horsepower, so it's about 134 in all. Together, they give the Prius 4 a 0 to 60 time of 10.3 seconds, which is better than my old MGB and a top speed of 103 miles an hour. But you can measure the acceleration with an hourglass. Now, the Prius Prime is bigger, takes over 12 seconds to get to the 60 mile per hour mark. Ah, but here's the beauty part, my profligate SUV driving wastrels. The new Prius 4 offers EPA mileage of 54 miles per gallon in the city, 50 on the highway. You don't plug it in. You don't change batteries regularly. In fact, you don't do anything but gas it up and drive it like any other car. You just gas it up a lot less. The Prius Prime gets an average of 52 miles per gallon, by the way, and you can plug it in. And all the machinations to get that mileage are so seamless and underwhelming, you wonder why everyone makes such a big deal about it. That is, until you notice that you've forgotten the way to the Shell station because you visit so seldom. Now, one odd fact about hybrids is that generally, city mileage is better than highway. And all this goodness comes in a more practical package now, with interior room almost equal to a Camry. The nickel metal hydride battery pack resides under the hatch, takes up room roughly equal to a half a Coleman cooler. It is warranted for 100,000 miles, by the way, and used battery packs can be had for $500. And 97% of all the Priuses ever made are still on the road. The Prius 4 Touring model we tested with power steering, nice stereo, air conditioning, continuously variable automatic transmission, power windows and locks, traction control, ABS, and more is now priced from just over 30 large to the mid-30s. The Prius Prime runs from the high $20,000 to $30,000 range. Now, for all the naysayers, they have now sold more than 2 million of the things since 1997, and it outsells all its hybrid competition combined. The Prius family now includes 
the new hatchback, a small two-door that is less than 20 grand, and a larger wagon. Our Prius V hatchback is still under 30 large, and that's over five grand less than a Volt. Now, the Volt may be more high-tech, has more range, but is it worth the extra scratch? Well, it all began with a huge billion-dollar subsidy from the Japanese government. But look what it produced. Others may be more technically advanced, but the Prius is still the gold standard in alternative transportation. That's our road test. I'm Roger Gray. We'll see you on the road.